check one, two. It's bigotry, trivia time. Grab your friends and play it online. With Ali and Gina. And Taco just for you. It's bigotry, trivia time. And we'll feel it all out. Hello, welcome, good evening, happy Thursday night. I got it right this time. My name is Ali with Megatrix Entertainment. We're gonna play some general knowledge trivia here in just a few minutes. Thank you for being here. If this is your first time joining, make sure you also join the online game platform so you can actually participate. Here on YouTube, you'll hear and see me ask the questions, but you won't actually answer on YouTube. You wanna join the online game by going to online.begatrix.com and entering in the code tricks. Three, if this is your first time playing, I recommend joining the game from your phone and leaving the YouTube video up on your computer or your smart TV. Open up the internet browser, go to online.begatrix.com, enter in the code TRICKS3. Once you do that, you will see this screen that I'm about to show you. Right here. It's going to ask you for two pieces of information, a nickname or a team name, and then the state that you're playing from. If you're not in the United States, feel free to put your country or, or your province or whatever you'd like. Um, but once you do that, hit go and you are set. Once you see this screen that says the game will begin shortly, you've done everything you need to do. As long as you have YouTube up and you've got this screen on your phone or your other device, you're set to go. I'll start the game here in just a few minutes. We're waiting for people to join. Uh, so we can all start together. In the meantime, I'll tell you about some fun stuff that we have coming up. Let me jump back on here. <clears throat> so once again, thank you for being here tonight. My name is Ollie with Bega Tricks Entertainment. Uh, I mentioned before, we will be doing general knowledge trivia, but tonight's general knowledge trivia does have a fun theme. This is our donation drawing winners general knowledge trivia night, which means one individual was able to select between six to 10 categories that all of the trivia questions that you will see tonight were chosen from. Uh, this was an interesting week. I've had a lot going on and I forgot to post and tell you about these. This was the first time that I actually reached out to the original winner and I didn't get a response back. Um, I did finally hear back from the person who was selected first, um, but it was a little late today. Um, so the person who was selected second, Stephanie H, chose our categories for us tonight. Um, so this is gonna be a surprise to a lot of you, which is fun. But here are the categories from which all of the questions were um, created for tonight's game. Before I say these categories, let me tell you, if you haven't done one of these um, donation drawing winner nights before, don't get scared off if these categories aren't your forte or your favorite thing. I try to make this game still as approachable as possible, even if you don't know a lot about these specific categories. So tonight, all the questions you will face come from Doctor Who, the TV show, the Chicago Cubs, Sailor Moon, the animated TV show, The Good Place, the TV show, uh, a very generic and fantastic category, dogs, uh, Chicago Beers, not the Chicago Bears, Chicago Beers, Wes Anderson movies, romance novels, The Obamas, and Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers Ooh. movies. So this is, to say the least, an eclectic selection, and I was very excited to write these questions. We have 30 questions tonight in a mixture of formats, so I'll tell you how that works in just a second. But before I do, let me tell you the reason we have this game is because, like I mentioned, these were chosen by the donation drawing winner, and what that means, you'll see the links below me here all night. We do accept donations or tips if you feel so inclined. You do not have to send any money. This game is free to play if you would like to participate. But if you do want to send anything, uh, a donation or a tip to Bag of Tricks Entertainment, those links will be down here all night here uh, via Venmo, PayPal, or Zelle. We accept those. So thank you so much to those of you that already have. I know Misha already sent a donation, and thank you so much for that, Misha. Um, so what that means is... You look like you're about to cry. Or yeah, okay. I'm not. No, I, I'm, I'm good. I'm not about to cry. Uh, I think the air went off because I just got hot. Oh, no. Uh, but anyway, so <laughs> once per week, 
our way of saying thank you is we choose one person out of everyone that's donated in the previous week and we allow them to choose the categories for one trivia night. So that's what we're doing here tonight. Stephanie H got to choose those categories tonight. You heard me say very briefly earlier, this has been a hectic week. I've mentioned um, we are slowly but surely getting back into live venues. We are continuing to do these online events. Somebody posted in the community earlier asking um, if we're gonna continue to do online events. For the foreseeable future, we are. Um, we will also start doing these in-person events. This week we were at Pollyanna in Roselle. Next week we'll be at Pollyanna in Lamont and at Two Pints Lounge, formerly the Beer Market Bolingbrook in the Bolingbrook Promenade. We have trivia and music bingo there on Tuesday and Thursday. We also have more trivia nights coming up. Oh, also, next week it was postponed because of the weather. We will be at Red Arrow Naperville for the office trivia on Monday night. Yeah, the 29th. Make sure you do call, or sorry, for Red Arrow, you can reserve a table directly online. And last I checked, that event was almost sold out. So if you're in the area, you want to play the office trivia Monday night, 7 o'clock, you can reserve a table for Red Arrow online. All uh, events are on our Facebook page. Yeah, all of these events are on our Facebook page and on our website. So I'm trying to get back some sense of normalcy in terms of how we run this business. It's been very different for the last almost four months. So thank you for going through this roller coaster of a ride with us. Um, obviously, we're all in this together, and you guys have... Uh, been along for the ride with Megatrix Entertainment. We went from a, a completely in-person company to a completely online company, and now we are both. We are in-person and online. Uh, thank you, Jennifer, for the donation. Thank you so much. Uh, so we will continue to do both, but just thank you for your patience. This is not, um, by no means is this the most difficult job in the world. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I'm not asking for sympathy. I'm just asking for patience while we figure out how we're going to move forward with these events. So thank you so much for being here, continuing to show up in person. I know uh, the Glovers were out at Pollyanna. Those are a couple of regular online trivia players. And uh, you guys have continued to show up for these online events. Uh, to put it bluntly, we'll continue doing online events until it doesn't make sense to you anymore. As long as you guys keep showing up, um, and, and bluntly, as long as you're donating and, and making this worth it, we will absolutely be here. Um, I've said since the beginning, we want to give those of you who don't want to go out something to do. We encourage you to stay home if you don't need to go out. Um, obviously, things are opening back up, but always best just to play it safe. So play some trivia with us. What's up? Did you say the word blunt? Did I? Yeah. Em I Emily Blunt? Said, mm, blunt. <laughs> nice, Brad. Um, so anyway, with all of that said, thank you all for being here. I'm going to pop into the corner, and I'll remind you one last time. Do join the online game. There's a $10 prize up for grabs tonight, courtesy of Begatrix Entertainment. We do have sponsored games coming up. Uh, as I mentioned, Saz's Barbecue out of Milwaukee. Yeah. We'll be sponsoring some games beginning next week, so keep an eye out for that. They'll be, if you're in the area, they have gift cards up for grabs. If you're not in the area, they can send some coupons for, um, they have the barbecue sauce and they have delicious frozen appetizers available at Woodman's and Mariano's, depending on what's in your area. Love to get some. Oh yeah, yeah, we're going to Mariano's to get some, or I just found out Mariano's is on our Instacart. Um, so with all of that said, do join the game because the only way you can win that uh, $10 prize tonight is to actually play. And the only way to play is to go to online.begatrix.com, enter in the code TRICKS3. So we are going to get started. Yay, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, I mentioned there are 30 questions tonight. 10 of these questions are multiple choice. Uh, I'm sorry, actually I did half. 15 questions are multiple choice, but we do have some fun bonus rounds here. So for multiple choice questions, how it's going to work is once I start the timer, every question has a 30 second timer. Once I start the timer, you will see four options pop up on your screen, A, B, C, and D. The correct answer is always one of those four. So the question will be there. Once the timer starts, you just have to click the correct answer, whether it's A, B, C, or D. Whichever one you think is correct, click it as quickly as possible because you earn more points the quicker you answer. There's a maximum of 150 points for each of these first 15 questions. I think it might just be 150 points all night tonight. Uh, maximum 150 points for the first uh, multiple choice and those decrease the longer it takes to answer. The only other thing you need to know is once you click an answer, you can't change it. So if you hit A, A is your answer. Make sure you look at all of them before you click something. Um, but that's it, everybody. We'll look at the standings as we go through. And again, whoever finishes in first place wins a $10 prize, courtesy of our sponsor tonight, Taco the Dog. Our sponsor, yeah, he had a lot of hard work sponsoring this. Yeah, you know, he had, he, we said, do you want an extra bag of treats or 
do you want to donate ten dollars to the winner tonight uh he said the treats but in addition <laughs> we're giving ten dollars i dropped some apple on the floor you guys you, yeah he got almost half an apple today all right everybody here we go first question's a practice question if you're saying ollie i still don't know how to play that's okay you're gonna learn right now First question, what is the name of your host today? That's me, what is my name? There are four options that will pop up. You just have to click the correct answer as soon as you can. Here we go. This one's not worth any points. This is just for fun. What is my name? Is it Elmo, Ali, Ernie, or Bert? What is the name of your host this evening? Sleepiest sponsor ever. Yeah, Sleepiest okay. sponsor ever, yeah. Oh. Ooh, Maggie and Brian just got back from NWB. Oh, NWB? Yeah. I love NWB. Me too. Those cocktails and the appetizers and the, the burgers. Oh, my God. What, what's that appetizer we really love? Well, All the Brussels of them? Sprouts are good. The Brussels sprouts are delicious. You like the hummus plate that they had there? Yeah, I love that with NWB is the next whiskey bar, as Jim Morrison would ask you for the yeah, directions yeah. to. Downtown Lyle. Yeah, downtown Lyle, right there on Main Street. You had the hummus plate. Nice, Brian. Poutine is... Yes. Yeah, their cocktails, they do a, a couple of barrel-aged cocktails. They do some classic and some ones that their bartenders are making up. Yeah. Whiskey donuts. Oh, uh, yeah. I can't say enough about them. We do trivia there on Sunday nights. Not right now, obviously, uh, but we did for the longest time, and I imagine that we will again at some point. They're also opening a second location in Plainfield, um, right across from Sovereign, I think, um, if you're mm -hmm. in the Plainfield area. Uh, anyway, back to the question. The correct answer here is Ali. My name is Ali. We have just about 65 people oh, sorry 55 people playing thank you all for being here tonight on thursday friday eve as misha said earlier thank you all right so now again if you're not sure how to play you should know by now hey thanks mike for the donation thank you so much question two this is the first question that's worth points tonight and again all these questions coming from those categories that we mentioned and i have to <laughs> that would be a Medusa, different situation. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I didn't sneeze, so now I'm in agony. All right, here we go. Question two. Which Chicago sports team has most recently won a league championship? Which of these Chicago sports teams has most yes. recently won a championship in their sport? Sports. Sports. <laughs> uh, is it the Blackhawks, the Bears, the Cubs, or the White Sox? Yeah, this GIF is very much, I didn't want to give anything away, so I just put a GIF that had everything. <laughs> I like the soccer ball just kind of... Chilling. Rocking back and forth. And... Oh, there's a discussion about uh, NWB poutine now. Ooh. Christine is obviously skeptical, which is fair. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it's not. Oh, Daniel F. Danielle F. is playing trivia and fishing. Just posted a photo in the online community. Oh, that nice. looks beautiful, Danielle. Looks very nice. All right, correct answer. Uh, the White Sox were 2005. The Bears were 86. The Blackhawks 2015, I think. So not that far off from the Cubs 2016 win. 2016 for the Cubs. Good job. Uh, we'll call social on that. Cheers, everybody. Ooh, buddy. All right, question three. Barack Obama was the blank president of the United States. I'm not looking for adjectives here. I'm looking for the number. Best. Barack Obama <laughs> was the blank president of the United States. Was he the 42nd, the 43rd, the 44th, or the 45th? Ooh, pork belly. Oh, wait, is a-hole number two back tonight? Bobby Kate's back? Welcome. Maggie, the blackest president of the United States. I know that's Maggie, not Brian. Yeah. That was Maggie, so it's okay, she <laughs> so said. It's okay, yeah. All right, correct oh answer. God. He was the 44th president. Cheers, everybody. All right, question number four. I had fun with all the gifts tonight, I'll tell you that. Uh, number four, which of the following individuals has not portrayed the doctor? on the show Doctor Who. Which of the following individuals, actors, has not portrayed the doctor on the show Doctor Who? Martin Freeman, David Tennant, Paul McGann, or Jodie Whittaker? Martin Freeman. 
Which of the following individuals has not been the doctor on Doctor Who? Oh, I can't keep up. You guys are commenting so much. I love it. Chat's on fire. Yeah, I love when you guys are active in the chat. But I also get really jealous because I am not great at multitasking. That's why Zoom one. Oh, yeah, we'll do a Zoom one at some point this weekend. I got a full log cabin I got to build. Don't tell Crystal. Log Just cabin. kidding. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Uh, this weekend I'm building a workbench. Uh, but you're building something. I am building something. Uh, the correct answer here, the majority of you got it. Not a high majority, but the majority. Martin Freeman. Martin Freeman, the correct answer. Good job. Not uh, Mr. Bean, Rowan Atkinson playing a doctor there. <laughs> All right. Question five, which of the following individuals, these are character names now, which of the following characters is not the actual name of a major character on the TV show, The Good Place? Which of the following names is not the name of a character on The Good Place? Is it Jason, Eleanor, Jeremy, or Michael? Not a character. I know. <laughs> I realize how this could be misconstrued, but I'm gonna stick to my guns in this one. Um, but for real, I love the vinyl swords. What's his name? Name your friend. Oh, Lindsay! <laughs> uh, I am going to be making some more of those to sell soon. Uh, I'm waiting for a new saw to get here, and then I'm going to make a bunch. So I will absolutely sell you one. Hey, Andrea, welcome back, and congrats on uh, your finish the last one. Yeah, I re uh, so I'll be honest. When I made this question, I, I am a Good Place fan, and I just came up with a random name. Uh, and the correct answer here, Jeremy, is not a major character on the TV show. It's not even a minor character. It's not it a is. Character. It is a name of the timeline, Jeremy Baramy. Yeah. Um, so I can see how that might have been confusing, but you know, Two it's Jeremy Baramy to go. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look at the standings for the first time. First, second, and third will be atop the screen. Everybody else is going to rotate through. Cream Team in first, Tacos Bay in second, and Steffi Star in third. Congratulations, everybody. It's a very close game right now, so keep it up. We'll let this rotate through. Hey, Tacos Party people out there, everything hurts and I'm dying. Hey, Mad Dad, I did get your email, Mad Dad. I'm going to include some of those suggestions uh, in some upcoming trivia. Um, so I wasn't able to get them into tonight's. I already had it done. Uh, but I liked a lot of what you sent over, and I will include some of those in the next few trivia nights that we do. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. Hey, remind you, Ranger out there. Uh, phase four and T minus. Yeah, we're two hours and 42 minutes. Today's longer than Q11's load. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and guess that is Chris, just because of our question 11 connection. Today feels longer than Q11's load time. I got a new computer, though, and it loads faster now. Hey, the Angelicas, Eliza, and Peggy, welcome back. Ali, me, and Dupree. <laughs> Good name. Hey, Mama Lens. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. Everybody's in. Nicole Selig, I chose the wrong answer because we were at Pollyanna. Hey, that's a very good reason to get the wrong answer. All the beers. You drink that... Whiskey, rye, rye whiskey barrel aged fun size. I had that. Q11 is not you, Chris. Good to know. Yeah, Bobby Kate, you're not a hole numero two. Numero dos. Hey, Miss LaRocca and Bert. All right, here we go. Question number six Which of the following authors is the best selling author alive today? We're talking number of books sold, not net worth or money we're talking which of the following authors has sold the most number of books as of today cool is it dean Koontz, jk rowling stephen king or danielle Steele? <laughs> maggie is now under her name welcome yeah nicole we'd love to meet for some beers Me 
keeps dropping the book. Kid president, right? Yeah. A little bit older. All right. Let's see what you guys thought. Uh, one person said Dean Kuhn. 17 said J.K. Rowling. 19 said Stephen King. 19 said Danielle Steele. Um, so I pulled up, yeah, I pulled up this list. Um, so uh, uh, Alive Today, the number one author in terms of best-selling number of books is Danielle Steele. Danielle Steele. I had a clue uh, in the fact that the category was romance novels that I was including. I didn't realize I made that uh, kind of obvious there. But uh, Danielle Steele has written 179 romance novels and uh, max estimated sales of 800 million units, 800 million books. Next in the order would be J.K. Rowling, even though she's made a lot more in terms of money, uh, she's sold 500 million books. And then actually, Dean Koontz is ahead of Stephen King. Uh, Dean Koontz, about 400 million books. Stephen King, 350 million. Um, according to my sources here, the top selling author in terms of sales of books or plays, if you will, would be William Shakespeare. Um, but I found out while I was researching this, Barbara Cartland. Barbara Cartland was an English novelist who wrote romance novels. One of the best selling authors as well as one of the most prolific and commercially successful in the 20th century. She wrote 723 novels. So I've always imagined Danielle Steele, because I remember those books lying everywhere at every garage sale. Danielle yeah. Steele has only, only written 179 compared to Barbara Cartland's 723 wow. books. That's insane. Uh, anyway, moving on. Great job, everybody. Question seven. You're still in tackle. What is the name, this question's for Gina, what is the name of Sailor Moon's talking black cat? Is it Diana, Luna, Solana, or Artemis? Ooh, usually the gifts are not a clue, but I would say there's a clue in this gift. She is still popular. Yes, she's a beast. That's adorable. I do not even know what genre Dean Koontz writes in or whether Dean is a male or female. <laughs> <laughs> Brad Silzer, I went to school with a guy with the last name of Koontz, but it wasn't D. <laughs> to be fair, don't see bow tie. Yeah, not that big of a clue. Uh, the clue was the fact that uh, the kitty there has a nice little crescent moon or Luna, lunar on its head. The correct answer is Luna. This is your favorite character, right, from Sailor Moon? Uh, no, it should be useless. Oh, favorite. shoot. Rainy. Okay. I failed. Diana is Luna and Artemis' daughter, so that was kind of cute. Ooh, I, didn't know. I just looked up things from Sailor Moon. Question eight. Who did Barack Obama defeat in the 2008 U.S. presidential election? Was it George W. Bush, Paul Ryan, Mitt Romney, or John McCain? Ryan and Misha are up to chapter three in Prisoner. Congratulations. That's awesome. Oh, what a good book, Prisoner. Is Ryan listening? I don't want to spoil anything. No spoilers. I won't spoil spoil. I was just going to say why I love that book, but I won't. I'll just say I love it. He's not. Yeah. Oh, what a, what a good, like, one of those gotcha books. Like, oh, we hate him, we hate him, we hate him, we're scared of him, and then, no, we love him. I love oh, it. yeah. I love okay. that book. I think that's the movie I've seen the most, too. Yeah. Uh, you guys did well here. You know, your politics is John McCain. John McCain. Mitt Romney uh, was later. Uh, John McCain in 2008. Yes, we can. Question number nine. Sammy Sosa holds the record for the most home runs hit in one season on the Cubs. How many home runs did he hit in that 1998 season? If you just watched the 30 for 30 that ESPN put out, it might be a little easier. I watched it. It was good. How many home runs did he hit? Was it 46, 76, 66, or 56? Oh, cute. A lot of people got that right. Yeah. I'm telling you, we've been doing this for a while now with the general knowledge um, donation 
uh, picks, and people, even when you don't know it, we still get a majority of most of the answers correct. Charles, I'm a Cubs fan. I didn't particularly like that 30 for 30. Okay, so let me let me back up a second. I don't know if you guys know this. I'm not a huge sports fan. So for me, most of what I saw in that was new to me. Um, so that might have been a little different, I guess. Um, if you're a sports fan, maybe it was different. But uh, I enjoyed just learning about what happened. I remember it happening when I was you know, around the age that it was happening. Uh, the correct answer here, McGuire ended with 70 home runs. Uh, Sammy Sosa was right behind him with 66. 66 home runs. Good job. 67% of you got that right. Very close. <laughs> uh, here we go. Number 10. We have two multiple choice questions left. Number 10. Which Chicago brewery has been releasing popular Bourbon County Stout annually since the mid-90s? Chicago Brewery has been releasing the popular Bourbon County Stout. Brad Silzer, if you missed this, you're out of all of the microbrewery groups that we're in together. Is it Half Acre, Goose Island, Revolution, or Sam Adams? <laughs> Brad, here we go. <laughs> Brad, I wait in line for this yearly. Nice. I, I've i never waited in line. I used to use my hookups. I Just from hosting at certain bars, they would get some and I would buy it. You have some. Wow. Oh, yeah, I still have. I have from, um, I have 2014 till 2020 downstairs. And the, big, the best thing that I have is a 2014 prop, the blue label prop, that I haven't opened yet. Fancy. Yeah. We'll get a vertical pacing and you get hammered. Yeah, we'll get a hammered vertical pacing. 11 p.m. the night before. Maggie, that good old Chicago Sam Adams, yes. Uh, to answer your question, Chris, one person oh, yeah. said Sam Adams, uh, whether they might have misclicked or not. Uh, Sam Adams, revolutionary, located in Chicago. Correct answer is Goose Island. Revolutionary? The individual. Oh. <laughs> I was like, it's yeah. revolutionary. Uh, it was a dumb joke. Hello. Uh, <laughs> Correct answer is Goose Island at Bourbon County Stout. Uh, 2014 Vanilla Rye. I'm waiting to prop open. Ah, Brad. I like that. Ooh, Vanilla Rye. Yeah, that's delicious. Mm. All right. Good job, everybody. We have one more multiple choice question before we do a bonus round. Question 11. Do you to... standings? No, no, because this is the last one of them. We'll do standings. Good call. Uh, okay. Okay. We haven't had anything from this category yet. In which 1933 movie, uh, the GIF may or may not be related. I have no idea what movie the GIF is from. In which 1933 movie did Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers appear together for the first time? Um, I'll give you a hint here. They weren't the main stars. Um, in which 1933 movie did Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers appear together for the first time? Was it flying down to Rio, walking in Memphis, hurrying to Boston, or escape from Las Vegas? I need to learn to dance like Fred Astaire. Ah, uh, some LBC love, Maggie. Correct answer here, again, even though I'm sure most of you have not seen this, maybe had no idea, we still guessed a majority correct. Uh, wow, flying down to Rio, flying down to Rio. That's very Good job, good job. Um, great job. All right, now we'll look at the standings. Currently in first, Steffi Star. Hey. In second, Team Half and Half. In third, M-Dubs 85. Everybody else rotating through. Take a look, see where you're at. I dropped 17 points. Oh, yeah. Places. Oh, did you tell people you're playing now? No, I didn't know. Yeah, Gina's playing just for fun, incognito. She hasn't seen these questions. I was 2 and now I'm 19. Yeah, she was in second place. Now she's down to 19. Top 39th. I was told there would be more good place trivia. There is another good, <laughs> good place. Yeah, who told you that, by the way? Uh, but there is another good place trivia or two questions. Hey, Jeff, in fourth, cream team in fifth. Jen Widener in six. Matt Mert Whirlin went up 22 places. 
I did better at military movie trivia than this, Lindsay. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Um, so the next round, the next round, you're going to love or not love. Um, but let me remind you before you all yell, you always have a one in four shot of guessing correctly because for this next round, even though it is a picture round, I did multiple choice. So I think that this round would be pretty tough without multiple choice. So I still gave you four options here. It is a picture round. I'm going to show you a picture, a still frame, a single scene from a Wes Anderson film. Wes Anderson movies was one of the categories for tonight. I'm gonna to show you a single shot, a single scene from a Wes Anderson film. This would be very tough without multiple choice. So I'm gonna do it as multiple choice. There will be four answers on the screen. It's gonna work just like the previous 10 questions. All you gotta do is click the one you think is right. Before you at me, don't at me because even if you're not sure, just guess. There's a 25% shot that you'll guess it right. You don't lose points if you're wrong. Here we go. Question number one in our Wes Anderson movie round. Which Wes Anderson film is this? Is this Moonrise Kingdom, The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou, Isle of Dogs, or Rushmore? I have not Look seen that aesthetic. two of these. Uh oh, we don't get aesthetics. I know. We just watched Royal Tenenbaums the other day. <laughs> Look at Lindsay's comment. At what? <laughs> I like that, Lindsay. At what's his name? Please tell me the picture round isn't romance novel covers. That would be really <laughs> uh, Lindsay, I don't like it when you preface things with that. Yeah, I understand that. That's fair. All right, you guys did well. Sticking around, I don't make the rules. I love it, Lindsay. Uh, correct answer here, though, is Moonrise Kingdom. Moonrise Kingdom. I thought that you might choose Steve Zissou out there because you could see the ocean in the background, but this one is Moonrise Kingdom. All right, question. 13. Number two in this round, which Wes Anderson film is this? This is, this might be the first Wes Anderson film I ever saw. I think it was. Is this The Royal Tenenbaums, Bottle Rocket, The Darjeeling Limited, or The Grand Budapest Hotel? I just realized the actress there. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm gonna, I let. Literally, every time I go to say her name, I have to look up how to pronounce it, and then I forget it instantly. Oh, yeah. Cherche, right? Or Cherche? Cherche. 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 Just say it like uh, Sean Connery. Cherche. <laughs> Misha, don't know that I've ever seen a Wes Anderson movie. Saoirse. I would. Sersha. Thank you, Lindsay. Um, Misha, I would definitely watch one. Uh, what would you recommend if... People have never seen anyone. What would you recommend to start with? I would start with Rushmore. Yeah, I would watch Rushmore. To get the vibe of it. Yeah, and if you like them, you'll like them. And if you don't, you probably won't. I don't want to speak for all of them. If you don't like Rushmore, you... Yeah, he has a feel, right? He's a director. He has a... And does he write them too, right? The movies? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he has a certain feel, a certain aesthetic for everything. It's um, a certain type of comedy, a certain type of vibe. Or Grand Budapest Hotel. That's a good one. Well, yeah, speaking of, this is Grand Budapest Hotel. Lobby boy! Grand Budapest Hotel. Good job. No, Question. This is Life Aquatics. Ooh, Life Aquatics, yeah. Which Wes Anderson film is this? Is it Bottle Rocket, Isle of Dogs, The Darjeeling Limited, or The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou? He writes his dialogue in short sentences, which creates a feel. I never realized that. This is Abby. Hey, Abby. Yeah, that's good. Good point. That's a very good point. Yeah. Like dissecting it. I mean, completely aside from the visual aesthetic, <sighs> which is, you have the Wes Anderson book. Mm -hmm. the, the Separate. Yeah, it's beautiful. It rhymes with inertia, as she says. Sersha, inertia. Sersha Ronan. Thank you. I won't forget it now. A lot of people have only seen Rushmore, so yeah, that was a good one to call. Uh, this one, probably a little easier. I did that on purpose. You can see the guy front and center there. This is Isle of Dogs. Isle of Dogs. Good job. Dogs is another category we have uh, tonight. Question. So that's a crossover. Good job, Ali. 
Question 15. Which Wes Anderson film is this? Is it Rushmore, The Royal Tenenbaums, Bottle Rocket, or The Darjeeling Limited? This one does not get talked about much, but it's my top. This is the one you have on your floor. Yeah. I love this one. I don't think any, many Brian people. Davis and how many cream teams can there be? How many are there? There's three. There's two cream teams and one team cream, I think. <laughs> no more than six. Yeah, I agree, Steph. It is underrated. Adrian Brody. Ooh, I Jason like Adrian Schultz. Brody. Still the youngest best actor. Oscar winner. Still. I believe so. Nobody beat him for that. Didn't Saoirse? No, she won supporting. She didn't win. Wait, no, she won. I think she's the youngest now. I don't know. She's on. Yeah. We just missed award season with all this online stuff. You guys did very well here. The Darjeeling Limited. Darjeeling Limited. 37 of you got it, right? A couple of you guys. Bottle Rocket, Rushmore, Royal Tenenbaums. All right. We have one more, number 16. Which Wes Anderson film is this? Is it The Life Aquatic, Fantastic Mr. Fox, Rushmore, or The Royal Tenenbaums? Heather Hackenberg. Yeah, I definitely need to see more movies. Lindsay, does your friend live in the... Oh wait, is it delayed for everybody? I had to refresh my... Sorry, everybody. Oh, no, but everybody got in, so it's okay. Uh, Lindsay, is your friend in the new um, condos there in downtown Lyle? Gina and I lived in Lyle, and then we moved right when the condos were about to be finished. They took about 17 years to finish those condos. Her response is delayed because she was looking at end of the Oh, got it. Yeah. <laughs> Correct answer is the Royal Tenenbaums. We'll call a social on that. 86 if you got it right. 86%, 51 if you got it right. Cheers, everybody. Yay. That is it for Wes Anderson film multiple choice rounds. So let's take a look at the standings. Steffi Starr still in first, but not by much over M-Dubs 85. Team half and half. Is that kind of like Team Cream? So is that a fourth? We have oh, Cream team, five, six, and seven. team Cream, and then we have Half and Half. Three cream teams and at least one team cream. And a half and half. I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah, I'm going on a limb that half and half is related. Uh, Jennifer Sterna, I've seen that Instagram. Did you show me that accidentally, Wes Anderson? I, I thought I already said that in the show. I did, yes. Oh. Yes, yes. Yeah, Jen, brought, Jen said it too. I've seen that. Oh, yeah. Great minds together. She lives right across the street from them, the tiny building, the same lot as Tracy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I used to run and walk down there all the time. I love downtown Lyle. Changing my team name to Cream and Sugar. Yeah, everyone will have. All right. Um, so here's what's going to happen, my friends. The next 15 questions are not multiple choice. So I'll ask you a question. You actually have to type your answer in. So I, once I start your 30-second timer, a text box will open up, and you have to type the answer in. One thing to note is the points no longer decrease based on how long it takes you to answer. So take your time, spell your answers right so you get your points. If you spell it wrong, you're relying on me to go in and mark it right for you, which I do my best, but I'm not perfect. So take your time. Hey, a poo-poo and a pee, pee out there. Uh, spell your answers correctly if you can. You're getting the full amount of points if you answer correctly. You get nothing if you answer wrong. Make sure you hit submit before the timer hits zero. The next round is a mini bonus round and it is another picture round. It is another picture round. So what I wanna say, hey Laura, thanks for the donation. Thank you so much. What I wanna say about this round before I tell you what it is, is I'm uh, not trying to be super tricky with this. I'm gonna preface with that because um, I've wanted to do this round for a long time, but th there's, um, there's a few ways you can answer some of these, but I'm not trying to be tricky. Um, go with your gut on these answers. This following round is a picture round. This is my favorite round that I've written just because I got to spend 40 minutes looking up pictures of dogs. Aww. We are going to do a picture <laughs> round working. all about dogs. Yay! Specifically, yeah, it's just pictures of my woodworking. Get out of here, Jen Stern. Um, it, not dog romance novels. Literally, I'm going to show you a picture of a dog. I want you to name the dog breed. 
That's it. I want you to name the dog breed. And that's what I was prefacing with. I don't have some random ass dog breed that's a cross breed of 17 different dogs. Um, go with your gut. These are pretty popular breeds of dogs. Um, this one's just, you know, we're doing this for fun so we can look at dogs for the next five questions, my friends. So uh, here we go. Uh, the first dog is on your screen in place of me. It's Taco. Just kidding. We don't know his breed. We will when we do a DNA test. Yeah. All right, here we go. Question number 17, which is the first dog question. Name this dog breed. By the way, all dogs are puppies to me. Yes, Andrea, I'm the same. When we see a dog on the yeah. street, I'm like, look at the puppy. It's like a 400 pound mastiff. Look at the puppy. Dog Yeah, Taco. Yeah, Taco with Karen Terrier. Karen Terrier, um, Pomeranian. Pomeranian and Shih Tzu is our guest. A little Shih Tzu? But I'm gonna pay like $80 for a DNA Yeah, test. we're gonna do a doggy DNA test. We just gotta give money. <laughs> all right. Because he's annoying as hell. <laughs> yeah, uh, Lindsay, they, they bark. They're barkers, right? Yeah. I was wondering if anybody, going back to uh, another, I guess, inside joke, if you will, anybody was going to write Snoopy. <laughs> Correct oh, answer God. is Beagle. <laughs> Bless you. There's the sneeze I was waiting for. That might be the first time I've sneezed during a stream. That sounded very good. Yeah. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, that's a Beagle. It's a Beagle. It's one of our first trivia nights. Um, we had a question about Snoopy, and people argued for like 30 minutes uh, because Snoopy, according to Charles Schultz, is a beagle. Um, and everybody said he was not a beagle, uh, arguing with Charles Schultz. Not everybody. A lot of you argued with. Question 18. Name this dog. Breed. Aww. Oh, my parents have one of these. Oh, he's a cutie. He is. Cooper. Remember when he was a puppy and his ears flopped over each other? Oh my god, so yeah. I'll share a photo of him later on the community. My Duncan is seven years old. I still call him a puppy. Oh. Misha, bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you, Chris. Becky, my dog is part corgi and part chihuahua. Probably he's a rescue, yeah. Oh. One in three, ten. Yes, that, that's probably where that started was the Snoopy argument. Snoopy is a beagle, yes. Oh, Andrea, that sounds awful. Ooh, yeah, yeah that's not good. Uh, let's look at all the different ways you spelled this. Not too many. Chonky boy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Correct answer is German Shepherd. Cheers, everybody. That's for sure social. Yeah, my parents have, uh, in one house, three dogs that are over 100 pounds. Oh, they do. Which is... Adorable and insane. I love it. Question 19. Uh, name this dog breed. Oh, what a baby. What a baby. You could, uh, this dog could be named Eddie. There's a clue for you. This dog could be named Eddie. Or Wishbone. Or Wishbone. Oh, somebody wrote Wishbone. No. <laughs> I'm going to be a little lean. I'm going to be a little lenient on the this one. Littlest Hobo? What's that? The littlest hobo. Skip, yeah, my dog Skip with my boyfriend, Luke Wilson. Luke, wait, what? This is my dog Skip. Remember that movie? Mm -mm. That wasn't good. No. Oh. Oh. Canadian uh, show about a German Shepherd. Oh, <laughs> it's a cute name. Uh, I'm pretty lenient on this. The only ones I didn't give it to is Wishbone and Cocker Spaniel. Um, it was a Jack Russell Terrier. If you said Terrier, anything close to Jack Russell Terrier, a lot of you just spelled it wrong. So cheers, that's another social. I'm happy to social to every single dog question tonight. Doggies deserve social. Yes, they do. Question 20. This is my favorite one. Name this dog breed. Oh, what a boy. Look at that face. Ooh, look at that tail. Look at that coat. Thanks. Heather, yes, that was the Frasier dog. Eddie was a Jack Russell Terrier. Guaranteed a ripoff of Lassie Christian. I'll check it out. Oh, I remember Wishbone. He was Robin Hood and all sorts of fun tales. Charles, you have one of these dogs? Incredible. Oh, that's awesome. 
Their faces are just so cute. They are really adorable. This one might have been a little tougher than I thought, but uh, I'll be a little specific on this one just because I've been pretty lenient on the rest. Correct answer here. This is an Akita. This oh, is an Akita. Damn. I realized that was a little tough just because I didn't put it to scale. Um, Shiba Inus are a lot smaller, um, typically 30 pounds or less from what I've seen uh, in my quick Google research. Uh, but this is an Akita. I'll be specific on this one just because you guys have destroyed all the other ones. Question 21. Name this dog breed. Oh, look at that oh, face. We just said taco is part this. Yeah, there's a clue. Taco is part this. Okay, I'm sorry. Even if you don't like small dogs, how can you not look at this look at the face and not squish? Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, Jennifer, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was so tough to tell the scale until afterwards. Everybody always thought... So, yeah. Oh, yeah, because he was uh, long-haired. Yeah, long-haired uh, other dog. Super cute. Schmoopy. Yes. <laughs> Stephanie agrees. Super cute. Schmoopy is the breed. <laughs> I think this is where Taco gets his head tilt from. I think you're right. Look so <laughs> there was um, there was another picture. Oh, that's private time, Taco. Sorry. There was another picture for this dog breed that I was going to use, but I'll be honest. I don't want to. This isn't hyperbole. I don't want to overstate. The picture that I was going to use for the dog breed in question here was so cute that I really think some people wouldn't have answered. Like. I think people would have been distracted. I'll post it in the online would it, community. Would it have broken? I think it would have broken Gina, absolutely, in a second. I'd break everything. It was so cute. Uh, all right, many of you got this. You just spelled it wrong. This is not a fuzzy tongue rat. I love that guess. Uh, this is a Pomeranian, and that is another cheers. social. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Here's the standings. M Dubs 85 up into first, half and half in second. All them teeth and no toothbrush in third. <laughs> Everybody else rotating through. Taco's done cleaning himself, so here he is. Bath time's over. Lindsay, I'll post the M though for you. Ooh, I'll do it right now while you're looking at these. We could win. Let's get K score in T minus. Yeah. Alright, I just posted the photo in the Bag of Tricks online community. Oh my gosh. Uh, maybe I should wait to look. It's literally so cute. If I squeal, I'm sorry. Oh, what a cool <laughs> little snowball. It's just a ball of air. All right, everybody. Thanks for putting up with our shenanigans. Thanks for playing trivia with Bigot Tricks Entertainment. All right, here we go. Final 10 questions, my friends, my friends, my friends. These are random questions. They are all still from the categories that Stephanie chose. Thank you so much for choosing these categories, Stephanie. I'm having a great time. Seems like people are too, so thank you all for being here. Again, we have a $10 uh, prize up for grabs courtesy of Taco tonight. So make sure you're doing your best, but also make sure you're not cheating. Don't Google. Don't look anything up online. If you do, you got to tell Taco that you're being naughty. So be honest, be fair, keep this fun for everybody. You do have all 30 seconds to answer. So take your time, spell your answers correctly, but make sure your answer comes out of somebody's brain, not out of somebody's phone or Google. <laughs> Other than that, 
Let's go. Let's go. Question 22, talking about Obama again. President Obama was born in which U.S. state? Which of the 50 nifty United States was President Barack Obama born in? Hey Jess, what's up? Madula Amlangara. Nice bread. Oh, Maggie. Oh, what did Maggie say? Um, but the birds. The birds in Tibet. I have a with this bird. Oh my God. Uh, -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Jess, I was weary about this question because of that. Everybody's in, right? Yeah, it's over. Everybody's in, everybody got it. Hawaii, Hawaii. I gave you a clue, because he looks like he's a little warm and Hawaii's oh, hot, yeah. you know? That's why he's wiping his forehead. I don't know, that's just the gift that I found. All right, here we go, question 23. One of Goose Island Brewing Company's most popular brews, which beer shares its name with the original area code of Chicago? Three digit area code to dial a phone number in Chicago shares its name with one of Goose Island's most popular brews. What is it? What's the name? These Obama questions prove why I love this group. Yes, Stephanie, and we love you. Thanks for being here. This, this gift could be taco. He would be halfway done with that. Taco drank an entire white Russian once. Not, the whole thing. Not an entire white, most of my white Russian. Not purposefully. That was the night we discovered he could get on the table. Even though he's only fucking eight inches tall, he can get onto the table. We're not bad dog parents, I swear. We are not. I didn't give him an entire white rush. <laughs> Somebody said drunken dachshund. No. <laughs> the correct answer is 312. 312. Other companies, this is interesting. I read a book all about all this uh, craft beer and. Goose Island specifically, but after 312 was released, all over the United States, you saw craft breweries try to copy, and they released 745 and, and 216, and uh, nobody could recreate the popularity of 312, not to mention it's a good beer. All right, good job. About half of you got that. Question 24. The animated show Sailor Moon first premiered on television in 1992 in which country? Just look at the country. Duncan gets on our table too. Yes, Misha. They, dogs are crazy. Jennifer yes, Serna. It's I always know. here. It's always fun to hear out of towners order a three hundred and twelve. <laughs> I got beers in different area codes. Did you see that comment? That's good, Charles. Nice. Maggie, you're too polite. I'd take a 312. Oh, okay, so you've got a 312. Yeah, I would probably just chuckle at that. That's why I'm not a server. I couldn't handle it. Y'all are too nice. You sacrifice your soul for money. Yep. You did it for a long time. That's what you gotta do. I couldn't do it. Oh, yeah, Misha. <laughs> Correct answer is Japan. Good job. Cheers, everybody. Question 25. Founded in Northern California in the early 90s, what now worldwide brewery opened its second brewery location in the Pilsen neighborhood of Chicago in 2014? I realize we don't get enough gifts of cats drinking beer. Yeah, whose cats do this? Anyone leave glasses out in their cats? Our, our boy Parker used to drink water. You couldn't leave a glass of water lying around because he would get in it. And it was cute. Oh, it was adorable. He thought that you left the water for him. Yes, I agree, Chris. Don't you Chris, agree? yeah, the Willy Wonka. You go crazy working there hearing that every day. Jameson loves chocolate milk, yeah. Um, so when we started doing trivia a while ago, 2000, I mean, it was after we started, but when we were hosting at Maple Avenue Pub, I told a, a few of you before, uh, Lagunitas, the correct answer here, used to sponsor us. Uh, our trivia nights and they would give away free brewery tours to the winners of trivia night which was 
an incredible prize. I cannot get over. If you, so if you came and played trivia with Begatrix Entertainment and you won, you would get to bring up to four friends to Lagunitas and drink for free all day and eat for free and get access to their VIP room where you get to play video games and pinball and you have a personal bartender. That was so fun. Yeah, and for a long time, I didn't realize what that tour was that we were giving. And you get a tour of the brewery uh, and they stopped after a while and they changed, um, they didn't change, but they sold to Heineken um, and they had some new rules in place and we couldn't do it anymore, but it was great while it lasted. All right, everybody, that's question 25, so let's take a look at the standings. M-Dubs 85 still in first, but only literally one point wow. ahead of Team Half and Half, and all them teeth and no toothbrush right there in third place. Everybody else is rotating through. Master Bakers in 24th. I see Dre in 33rd. Victor's two in 34th. A-hole numero uno. Did we ever decide wh where A-hole a numero dos is? She's here. She's here. Yeah, what's your team name, Bobby Gate? world of pure imagination yes jeffrey love lagunitas i believe maggie the food that remember when we ate we had the oh. mussels and the food there is and so the good yeah they have the stage the beer the, the magician food. remember the magician yeah <laughs> uh everything about that oh, i want to go fast yeah that makes sure it's shake and bake if you're not first you're last You've been sleeping on Lagunitas. Um, the one thing that's kind of cool about Lagunitas now, oh, I gotta sneeze again. Uh, being bigger, so they, they sold a majority of their, their business to Heineken, which offers them the opportunity now to be worldwide, and obviously they have, they have a lot more capability than they did. And for those of you out there that are listening, you can now purchase Lagunitas at Aldi. So you can get it for a discounted price. Uh, they have a couple different of the, the beers at Aldi pretty often. If you like Lagunitas and you like saving money, go to Aldi. Where's my sponsorship check from Aldi? All right, here we go. Final six questions, my friends. Question 26, what is the name of the fictional time machine and spacecraft that appears in the television series Doctor Who that resembles a police box? What is the name of the fictional time machine and spacecraft that appears in the television series Doctor Who that resembles a police box? Oh, you did the paint your pet? That would be Matt, if you have a picture, post that in the community. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see that picture. Mert, Mert Whirling. I wanted to do a paint your pet thing. Thank you, Mert. Uh, we could do a paint your pet from home. Let's just make a, let's just do it online. Take a break from your woodworking. Yeah. Shit. We got paint supplies. We did, Bega Tricks used to do painting parties. Mm -hmm. I have like 40, 40 easels in a storage facility somewhere. All right, let me mark a bunch of these correct. Zoom, yeah, a Zoom paint your pet party. Let's do it. Just drink and paint. Correct answer is the TARDIS. It stands for something um, I don't remember. But TARDIS is the correct answer. 76% of you got it right. Cheers, everybody. Question 27. Only two women have ever appeared on the cover of Oprah Winfrey's O magazine other than Oprah herself. Name either of those two women. All you have to do is name one of them for points. Only two women other than Oprah have appeared on the cover of, Win of Oprah Winfrey's O Magazine. Name either of those two women. I know one, I don't know the other one, I'm curious. Oh my God. Brad Silzer, <laughs> did a paint your pet night once, took forever to wash the paint off. Love it. Ooh, Amy. <laughs> Or Abigail, time and relative dimension in space. Thank you, Abigail. Oh. Hey, Alvin, what's up, my man? Things I know about Doctor Who. This thing, it's been in forever. There's a screwdriver and a long scarf. Oh, now I really want to... Can you make a note for us to do a paint your pet party yeah. on Zoom? That'll be fun. 
Um, Christy Ann, a paint your pet party is um, like just a painting class really and you send the company who does it like a photo of your pet and then they put it on a canvas and they tell you how to paint it. So you do a portrait of your pet. So you paint really your pet on a canvas. No, you did it well. You paint your pet on a canvas. Uh, the correct answer here, if you gave me either Michelle Obama or Ellen DeGeneres, Michelle Obama and Ellen DeGeneres, um, shout out to Oprah. If I ever had a magazine named A, you bet your ass I'd be on every fucking cover. <laughs> It'd be me and Taco every time. And then, you know, we'd bring in like two famous people for two random covers. Um. Uh, Gina would be on all of them too. Yeah, yeah. Gina too. It would be AG. Get out of here. Moving on. Shit. Next song. Next song. Question 28, ending its run in January of 2020. Here you go, Jennifer Stern. How many seasons of The Good Place oh, were there? Yeah, try not to cry. How many seasons of The Good Place were there? You can only answer with numbers, my friends. You can only put a number in as your answer. How many seasons of The Good Place were there in total? And Taco, well, Maggie, yeah. Taco would be on the back of every single page. Oh, Jen Cerna with the correct answer too few yeah here you go Alvin here's Taco Taco centerfold oh my god who said that Brad Silver yes. that was my guess oh Taco centerfold like his, in the crease yes ooh a tie-dye pet party Jess said you just bring your pet and tie-dye him <laughs> Correct answer is four. Four seasons. Not enough is the, the best answer, though. Jen Sterna, great job. Question 29. This is an actual tough one. What is the name, the technical name, the scientific name for the extra thumb-like toe, you can see it pictured here, That's on a dog's <laughs> front foot? What is the name for the extra thumb-like toe on a dog's front foot? You're in the taco family and picking up too. It's this. Right here. There, there I see it. Look at that little floppy. It is not Chandler's nubbin. Uh, puppy hitchhiking toe. That's Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> puppy hitchhiking toe. Somebody said, I don't know, but look at them beans. I like that. Somebody said aglet. That is actually is that the name of the plastic piece on the end of your shoelace. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Aglet is the plastic piece on the end of a shoelace. You learned something. Yeah, now you know. Uh, the correct answer, many of you, somebody said toe too many. Puppy hitchhiking show, the shut you up toe. Uh, the correct answer is the dew claw. The dew claw. As long as you spell close to that, dew claw. Two people put nubbin. <laughs> two people put nubbin. All right, only two questions left, my friends. All right, here we go. Number 30, what 1996 film was both the directorial debut of Wes Anderson and the feature film debut of both Luke and Owen Wilson? I'll give you a clue. You've heard the name of this one a lot tonight. Aglet has its own song on Phineas and Ferb. Huh? Oh, Phineas and Ferb. I do declaw. <laughs> I do declaw. Janessa knew that one. Good job, Janessa. Weird Al needs to do a Taco Center Vault parody. I am, we usually have at least one person out there who is a vet tech or a vet or some type of animal hospital employee. All right, the correct answer here, Aglet 2, shoelaces returned. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, it is the only one that was not an answer in the picture round that you heard a lot. Bottle Rocket. But I guess Rushmore you heard a lot, and we didn't have that one, so I don't want to mislead you. That was a good guess, too. Uh, Rushmore was a little bit later, 2000 maybe. Um, but Bottle Rocket, 1996. Incredibly, Owen and Luke Wilson's debut, uh, and Wes Anderson's debut. Aglet 2. <laughs> Aglet 2, Shoelaces Return. <laughs> Um, do, guys, also, Ab Abigail, I know you're out there. Um, we are working on uh, the William Taft, The Bath, the musical. That is happening. Question 31, final question. Prior to their win in 2016, uh, the Chicago Cubs last won the World Series in what year? I need the four-digit year. What year did the Chicago Cubs win the World Series before they won in 2016? This gift to our donation drawing winner, Steph Howes. Uh, I know you enjoy a little Anthony Rizzo. <laughs> Stephanie Curtis does too. Nice gif. Oh, and she was at Vet Tech. At, see, you're the one out there. Thanks for being here, Stephanie. Fun story, when I was a kid, this is what they called the... What bottle I always, Rocket. Oh, Cracker Barrel, Bottle Rocket. I miss Cracker Barrel in the... Yes. I'm just praying for a system breakdown. Just freeze. <laughs> uh, it's fair. Look how far we've come since the days of being stuck on Jennifer Anderson pulling the book out of the freezer. And you guys have been there for all of that. I love you guys. Yeah. Thanks for being here. There's one in Naperville. What's his name? Yeah, I've been there, Lindsay. <laughs> There's one in my hometown down in Burr Renee, Illinois. Would have preferred Bryant, but I guess this is fine. Yeah. I like Bryant, too. Uh, the correct answer here is 1908. 1908. Good job. 67% of you got that right. Well, cheers it. All right. That's the final question, which means all we have left to do. Ooh, Middleton Lens was a shoe designer. Cool. That's that. exciting. Can we talk? I need some Begatrix custom taco shoes. Let's make some shoes. Uh, Maggie, I'm not even a Cubs fan. I just like hot Just like dudes. hot dudes? Yeah, you yeah, and me both, fair. Maggie. You and me both. All right, here we go. Final standings. First, second, and third atop. If you're in first place, send a message to the Begatrix Entertainment Facebook page and let us know. Hey, listen, I just won first place. That's all you got to say. And then uh, we need your email address. We don't even need that. We just need you to message us, and we'll get you all set up. You got a $10 prize coming your way next week. As I've mentioned, we will have some more sponsored games, courtesy of Saz's Barbecue out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So if you're in the area and you win, you get a gift card directly to the restaurant. If you're not local to Milwaukee, you can still win. They'll send you some coupons because Mariano's and Woodman's across the country has barbecue sauce from Saz's and delicious frozen appetizers that you can get. But... Back to tonight. If you win, send us a message. You got a $10 prize coming your way in first place. Is. Oh, before I do it, <laughs> uh, guys, we haven't had a fundraiser Friday in a while, but tomorrow we do. We do have a fundraiser uh, Friday event. We are raising money for the Chicago Commons. Um, it's a great organization. They provide high quality early education, family centered adult education, and senior services to more than 3,000 individuals annually. And that was pre-COVID, so I'm sure they're doing much more now. And you can make a big difference by showing up tomorrow night, Friday. We have general knowledge trivia, just like tonight, but with more random questions, starting at 7 p.m. All of the information's on Facebook. Please check it out. If you're interested and you're free, buy a ticket. Come hang out with us. Have some fun. Uh, they have prizes tomorrow night for first, second, and third place. I believe I have it right here. Hang on one second. I know I'm making you guys wait. Uh, first place is a gift card for Let Us Entertain You, which is a whole wide variety of restaurants. Second place is a gift card for Goose Island. Well, there's a tie-in. And third place is a gift card for AMC Theaters, which is set to open back up here soon. So tomorrow night, please hang out with us, raise some money for a great organization, and have some fun. Seven o'clock tomorrow p.m. Central Time. I uh, hope to see you all there. But for now, let's look at our final standings.
in first place, M Dubs 85. Just one point ahead of half and half. Steffi Star made her way back up into third place. Congratulations. Everything else is rotating through. I'm going to throw it back to Taco since he sponsored tonight's $10 prize. Nice. Tacos party people out there. Jen Stern, a general knowledge. Salutes. Everything hurts and I'm dying there in 42nd. I wish we could win in 44th. Hey, Mama Lens, I want to go fast in, t in 50th. Ali, me, and Dupree, Emily, and Jeff are out there. Thank you so much for being here. Cream Team and Cream Team in 4th and 5th. Cream Team also in 7th. <laughs> Uh, green yeah, I feel like I'm like on skip on a record machine. This is the place you meet the balls in 12th. Everybody else, you can see where you're at. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you for the support. Thank you for hanging out. And thank you for just honestly being such a great community. Uh, we will see you tomorrow if you be there. Otherwise, we have a full lineup coming next week. I'll post that probably tomorrow so you can see the schedule and stuff. I will post a visual uh, schedule so that everybody can keep track of what's going on for the next week. Kim Wheatley, my points are the same as my anniversary today. Happy anniversary, Kim Wheatley! Happy Thanks for being here. Um, for everybody that cares, there will be a Zoom trivia this weekend at some point. Um, so keep an eye out for that in the online community. We'll make it happen. Saturday, Sunday, Friday, who knows? One of oh, those Sunday. days. Sunday, 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 fun day. All right. Uh, hope to see you guys then. Until then, see you guys next week. Unless uh, tailgaters on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, we'll see you, Maggie. yeah, you know what, Maggie? You'll see us there one night. We're going to come get some food at tailgaters on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. <laughs> I'm not committing to a certain day because then I'll go back on it. But we will come. We will come get some food if or some drinks. It, yeah, if you build it, we'll come. All right, guys. If you build the drink, we will come. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for all the support. Uh, thank you. For the donations we really 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 appreciate it it makes us continue to do this in the future all right until next time be safe take care of each other and Bye guys. wash, wash your damn hands, hands.